All right, everybody, so what we're gonna do now is put our screen together. You need a few essential items here. The first thing that you need is screen spline. It's this rubber looking cord that goes within the recess along the edge of your screen frame. Then you need a roller to actually embed that within the screen. Then you need your screen. I choose fiberglass. Uh, just because it's going to be a little bit more durable than metal. And also, I, I tend to use it whenever I have a drywall project. Uh, sometimes I use it to span the gap between two pieces of drywall. And then you're going to need a utility knife to cut the actual screen. So let's get to it. I'll show you how to do this. Open up your fiberglass or metal screen. Lay it over the frame itself. Maybe have about two inches of overlap. All right. Now I have some extra spline from a previous project. And what you do is you start at one corner. You just lay it within that corner. All right. And you embed it. Now you can do it by hand like I'm doing it here or you can roll it out like, like this, all right? And you can simply roll it with into, roll it into the recess, like so, all right? Come along this edge. Make sure that your screen is laying flat and tight. Your screen mesh, that is. All right. Now I can put my knee in the middle of this because I only have two sides in, but I won't be able to do that here shortly. Make sure that this spline is in there good, especially at the corners, because a lot of times it tends to want to come out at the corner itself. So really, really press in firmly. The spline size that I'm using is points 6.16 in diameter. Now that I have two edges in, I don't want to put my knee in here. I want this to be fairly taut as well. So I'm going to grab my other piece of spline. I'm just going to join it up here like so. I hate wasting material, so I always keep extra behind after a project, just in case something like this happens whereby I need it. That way nothing's really going to waste. All right. Your screen doesn't have to be perfectly tight, um, but it should be uh, as taut as possible. All right, so what I'm going to do now is just roll this last section on. I'll try to get out of the way, so give you a better angle so that you can see what I'm doing. But again, this project is really, really simple to do. And if you need to build a new screen, I think this video tutorial is a nice one to have as a reference. All right, now with this in place, I can use a utility knife to cut this last piece of spline. All right. Again, making sure that the corners are all nice and tight. So now I have my screen put together. The last thing that I need to do is put my utility knife in here at an angle so that I'm cutting the screen and not the spline. It's a nice day here in Pittsburgh, so you get people riding their motorcycles. So you do this, you cut the screen, the excess screen. All right.
go along all four corners, all four frames, I should say, and do this. And sometimes this blind comes out. I mean, that's fine. You can just simply embed it again. It's not a big deal. And you can trim things up to make it look a little bit better with scissors if your utility knife isn't working. But again, right here, my spline came out a little bit, so I'll just simply re-embed it using this tool. So you do this for all four sides and you'll be done. Make sure to go back over your entire screen embedding the spline with your spline tool. This will ensure that the fiberglass mesh screen itself doesn't come out of the framing. This isn't a hard project as you can see. It'll take you less than 15 minutes and it's something you could do over the weekend for sure. So thanks for joining me and I hope you have a great day.